Welcome back to Clark Star Culinary. I'm Clarissa, and today we're making a raw apple cider vinegar ginger tonic. First thing you're gonna need is a piece of ginger. And you wanna take the ginger and break it and wash it, because it's really dirty. Um, well, this one is. I mean, you may be able to find one that's not as dirty as this one, but this one's pretty dirty. After that, you wanna chop it, and I just chop it in slices like this. It's a lot easier to chop down this way instead of trying to chop that way because the fibers are running up and down. So you want to chop it this way. <laughs> There's two ways that I get juice out of the ginger, which this is one way. I use a grater. I use the small grating side here. And let me get a bowl, which I've done this in another video, but for the sake of this video, so you don't have to go searching everywhere, I will do it on this video. You wanna make sure your hands are very clean for this as well, and your nails. So you just take it and grate it down, just like that. Be very careful so you don't grate your skin. It's starting to get a little slippery. I'm gonna stop there so you guys don't see me scrape my skin. And then you pick it up, get your little ball of ginger here, just like that. And you just want to squeeze it, squeeze it. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I know some of you all aren't watching this on Friday, but it is Friday when I'm posting this. So it's actually Friday morning by the time you're going to see it. So I hope you guys have an awesome Friday. Okay, so yeah, this was like one tablespoon. But yeah, that's how I get ginger out of it with the grater. Second way is shown this device before it's an auger juicer and I just have to wet the bottom of the auger juicer because it has a suction that has to be used because it will slide all over the place. And I'll put the link in the description box down below. Um, it's being sold on Amazon. So I'll do that for you guys. And the auger juicer is really simple. You just wanna feed the machine and go for it. So, you can see we got some juice action going here. Right, I just need to get enough of this to make. I'm going to say about just two bottles. I'll make for this video. I usually make 10 at a time. I'm sorry I'm talking and grinding this at the same time. Let me shut up and do my work. Okay, I think this is enough for what I need to do for you guys on this video. And I'm gonna finish juicing all of this once I finish getting this video put together for you guys. But yeah, so this is the juice from the ginger. I'm gonna take my auger juicer, put that to the side for right now. And you're left with some pulp. So what I do with the pulp is I just put it on a paper towel and I just let it dry and it's dry in about two days. And then I end up with this here, which is just dry ginger, still very flavorful. So if you have one of these little tea things here, you can take it, pop it down in there and put it in some hot water and have a little cup of ginger tea. So that's just so it doesn't go to waste. I try not to be wasteful. Um, I try. <laughs> not always successful, but I do try. All right, so now this is dripping on the floor and that's good. Clean that up a little bit later. These were kombucha bottles and I just repurposed them. So just take the tops off, get a funnel and ginger. Now, you may want to start off with one tablespoon. Um, I usually put two tablespoons in there per glass. So we're going to do that. Here's that. And now we're going to shake up and add our raw apple cider vinegar. 
and I do two tablespoons of this. Again, you can actually go down to one tablespoon if you want to. Now, I don't sweeten mine, but if you want to sweeten it, you would want to add it at this stage, and then you can shake it up, make sure that your sugar or whatever sweetener you use, please don't use artificial sweetener, um, but just make sure that you shake it around, make sure it's diluted in there really good, and then we just move right on over to adding some mineral water or seltzer. So it's up to you. And whoo, this one's really bubbly. <laughs> So I have to like kind of play with it a little bit before it stops bubbling. Ooh, so bubbly. Okay, I think we're almost there. I'm gonna trust it from here. All right. And I found that putting it in with the funnel, it takes all the bubbles out. It takes a lot of the bubbles out. So I just pour it right in, just kind of tilt the jar Tilt the jars together, pour very slow, because we want it bubbly. We do want it bubbly. And kind of slow once you get to the top, because it overflows. Please don't overflow, please don't overflow. Please. <laughs> Not on camera. It always overflows. I always get some that just overflow. So that was good, I didn't overflow. And we're gonna do this other one here. All right, that one's getting too bubbly. I'm gonna let that calm down a little bit. And I know some people are really big on drinking raw apple cider vinegar, but I have found that if you put it in seltzer or mineral water, that it goes down so smooth that it doesn't burn your throat. So. That's just for you guys that just want to drink the apple cider vinegar by itself, but you just don't want to have to deal with that horrible acidic burning sensation in your throat. So yeah, I'm done with these two. They're going to go in the refrigerator and once they settle, this is what it looks like. So once it sits in the refrigerator for a little while, Everything's just going to kind of go down here and this will be really clear and all you want to do just tilt it upside down Just like once or twice tilt it upside down. Do not shake it because It is bubbly and you don't want it just fizzing all over the place And family that's it. We have made our raw apple cider vinegar Ginger tonic. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of our next video upload. I appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.